In today's video, we're going to learn how to make this really cool glass card effect that is so popular. And you don't need Photoshop, you don't need Figma, we're going to do it all the way from scratch in Canva, so you can follow along step by step. Let's jump into Canva and see how we do it. So here we are on a presentation template. You can do it on any template that you like. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some backgrounds to it. So I'm going to choose a dark background, a gradient, and I'm just going to edit the stops so they're a bit darker, and then choosing that dark to lighter in the middle so we have that sort of gradient effect with the light in the middle next what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a circle so press c and now i'm going to change this circle and give this a nice gradient color we're going to use that standard one the red to orange i think that looks nice now we can always adjust the angle if we want so if you want to have the angle come from the other side we can play around with the colors and the settings here i kind of like this one so i'm going to put that let me close this for a second and I'm going to scale that down, create a copy, make that one larger, and then create a few smaller ones. So we can play around with this and sort of position it there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of measure where I want my card to be. So I'm going to do it like this, and you can round the corners. That's nice. Let's make it white and transparent now this is just for us so we can see the positioning and if we have everything the way we want it because the better you do it like this the easier it will become to create your designs so i'm going to do that like this and then position everything nicely i'm going to leave some room on the side here oops so we can add some text later on so we're not going to fill in the card yet and um, now we want to make that blur effect so we know this is the position that we want i'm going to just duplicate it remove that card and now we're going to export this one here without with only the circles so go to share download and then we're going for current page and a jpeg is fine so download that one and save it in a folder or in your desktop so once we have that we're just going to drag it on the canvas and i'm going to make that one as large as the slide so we, now we have two layers but on the top one we can't really drag around the circles since that's one image i'm going to edit and use that glass morph effect trick so i'm going to whole image blur whole image and then increase the intensity to let's say 70 ish points what i'm going to do now is i'm going to adjust the crop marks so you see if i now adjust it we can see that we sort of get that effect already so we sort of get that glass that blur effect i'm going to do it so we leave a little bit of a border on the um, on the side so we see the clean edges and the blurred edges i think this looks really nice we can copy that card if we want to have the exact position so you can do that as well so i'm just going to adjust the crop marks until i get that exact card position so that's how you would do this and just delete that again now for good measure you can always have the same rounding so i'm going to do set the rounding to let's say 25 points and on this one we can also set that to 25 points. So we have a clean, same rounded corner. Now, this one doesn't really look like a card just yet. So we see that effect in the, in the designs. It's a lot clearer. And there's like this transparency layer, that white layer on top, and also that border. Now we can't do this. If we just add a border here, like a, an outline, and we make it white, that won't work. And the reason is because that border is actually on the side here. So because we crop that part, it won't show. So for that, we're going to use a little bit of a trick. And for that, I'm going to copy that rectangle, paste it on top. And now we're going to give this a gradient fill, so gradient with light. And then we can play around with the color. So either you make it like super light, you can make it semi-transparent, you can make it a bit darker on the other side. So you can choose which effect that you prefer. I'm going for a light gray to a almost a white on the side so you see how we sort of create that matte glass effect and you can play with the transparency just until you get that nice result so now, now that we have this i'm going to add that layer so if we want to add that stroke and give that a white fill you see that here we have a very similar effect so we can create that stroke outline but it's also a little bit transparent and if we don't want that well we can just turn off the stroke so we put that to zero i'm going to press r for a rectangle place it on top, expand it so it fits with the um, with the card that we're making, fill, no fill, and the stroke set it to maybe two or three, and now we can make it full white. For the corner rounding, we know we're using 25, so that's great. 
and then maybe let's set this to two, see how that does. And this already gives us that clean edge. Now we can always make that like a gradient as well. So if we really want that specific touch to it, let's maybe set both to white. I think that will be good. But one is a little bit more transparent and the other one is full white. So you see how you can get that really cool, clean uh, effect here if I, if I zoom in. You can see it really creates that nice effect on the card. So that is pretty good. Now we're going to add some text. So I'm going to press T and then let's call Jonathan Doe. We sort of make it like a bank card or whatever you want to do. You could use it as a name tag. That could also work. There's a lot of ways you can use this design. So I'm going to increase it a little bit in size. And then we add a copy below with the website. Your yourcompany.com and we can make that smaller so now it's about positioning the elements in a way that they look nice so company name and we can expand it so we do the letter spacing a little bit we can also make it light so if we use uh, Montserrat we can make that light and if we use Montserrat for this one I think that will look pretty clean Maybe regular. There we go. Now let's add a little bit of a logo. So let's see if we can find a nice logo. And then depending on what your logo is, you can just add it to the slide. So I'm going to use this. I can't change the color. So let's take one of which I can change the color. I think this looks quite cool. So I'm going to integrate that here on the side. And if we now position that here, you can see you can just scale it. Huh? If you just select everything all at once, you can just scale that design. So let's put that on full screen and this already looks pretty solid. Now you can always animate this as well if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group everything and you see we can act it as one group and then we say for example animate and do like a simple rise animation and then we don't no longer need this one so I'm going to put like an empty one up front and then we put it on full screen. So if you're now presenting, you can uh, talk and as soon as you're introducing the person, you can just click and it nicely appears on the slide. So this is how you can create that really cool glass card effect in Canva. So you don't need Photoshop, you don't need Figma, and you can use the tools that are available for everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to watch the video on screen right now.